First, we had the regular SIM card, and then we got this, the micro SIM card. Now, the micro SIM card has been used in the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, but now the iPhone 5 ditches the micro SIM for something else, the nano SIM, which is even smaller. Now, with the regular SIM, you could actually cut that down to fit the micro SIM slot, but does the same principle apply to the new nano SIM? Well, possibly very possibly, as I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to actually cut this down to meet the measurement specifications set out by the European Telecommunications Standards Institute, and I'll show you that on their website a little bit later. But first and foremost, you're definitely going to need one of these. This is a digital caliper. It allows you to have really precise measurements down to the very millimeter, and I'm going to show you how to use that to get the right specs to be able to cut your micro sim down to a nano sim. And the good news is that it's extremely simple to use. If you can use a ruler, then you can use a digital caliper. I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. First of all, let's measure the thickness of the micro sim. Now this will be impossible with just a ruler, but with the digital caliper, it allows us to get accurate measurements for the thickness of the micro sim. As you can see there, it's about 0.81 millimeters. So that's a pretty accurate reading, and that's what we want. We wanna have accuracy so that we're able to cut out and sand down this micro sim to meet the specifications as closely as we can with the nano sim. So now let us measure the height of the micro sim. It's about 12.03 millimeters, as you can see here. So that is the height, and here is the width. It comes in at about 14.99 or 15 millimeters. So that's a pretty exact reading for the width as well. Now, since we have these measurements, let's head over to the ETSI website and analyze the exact specifications, the exact form factor for the nano SIM. See this, the new SIM card format for slimmer, smaller phones. And here are the measurements right here. The fourth form factor card will be 40% smaller than the current SIM card design at 12.33 millimeters wide, by 8.8 .8 millimeters high and 0.67 millimeters thick. That's really small. It can be packaged and distributed in a way that is backwards compatible with the existing SIM card designs. The new design will offer the same functionality. So that's very promising. So basically if we cut this down, hey, it might work in our new iPhone 5. So let's try it. You can see here is the height at 14.99 millimeters. So we need to cut that down. You see the edges there, the excess edges. We need to cut that down to meet the standards set out by the ETSI for the nano sim. So we're gonna try to do that now. It needs to be about 12.3 millimeters. So you can see I have some excess to cut off here on the edge. So I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and just be really careful not to actually cut the chip itself, but just trim the excess plastic away from the sides of the micro sim. So we're just gonna snip. There we go, there's one side. Try to get as close as I could. And here is the other side. Just snip, there you go. Just be patient. Okay, and just try to get as close as you can without actually touching the chip. So here's the current measurement, 12.74. So we're still pretty far away from that 12.3. We still need some extra trimming on our micro sim to get it within specs. So we're just gonna do a little more trimming here. Just be really careful not to cut into the actual chip itself. Get as close to the edge as possible without touching the chip itself. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're at about 12.25. So I got a little closer than I needed to, but that 0 0.05 millimeters shouldn't make that big of a difference once it's in the SIM card tray. So we're good to go there. That should, that should do it. Feel pretty confident. All right, so now here's the other side. It's 12.03 millimeters. So we need to trim that down as well to meet the specs for the nano sim. So let's just chop it up here. Again, you wanna be really careful not to cut into the actual chip itself. So let's measure now. We're at 9.67. We still have a little ways to go. Uh, but that's really, as you can tell, it's really close to the edge there. So you, you're just going to have to be really careful um, and trim that very, very carefully with those scissors there. Make sure you use a pair of sharp scissors. So here we go again. Okay, now we're down to about 9.28. That's really close. I don't think I can do any more actual cutting on our 
uh, micro sim here because it'll probably cut into the chip itself so you got to be really careful with that probably don't want to do any more cutting what we can do however is bring out the sandpaper and that's what I've done here I have a piece of sandpaper ready to go and I'm just going to rub it on the edge of the uh, the side I want to trim and get this thing closer to the nano specs okay just keep trimming there and again just be patient make sure you don't actually rub on the actual chip itself just take it real slow okay alrighty I think we might still need just a little more trimming here so let's just give it a couple more rubs on our sandpaper here and see what we can get a couple more times should do it okay what about one more time okay all right so let's measure now and there we go 8.67 so I actually got a little more off than I wanted to but again that's within 0.13 millimeters that should fit within that sim card tray just fine if past experiences with cutting down nano or cutting down micro sims is any indication this should be okay as long as you don't actually cut into the actual chip so here's probably what is the most tricky part the thickness of the nano sim you can see it's about 0.88 or 0.87 millimeters so we need to sand this down now to do this I've taken a piece of tape it's kind of blurry sorry about that I put in it chip side down and just rub on the back like this with some sandpaper and you'll probably rub the logo off and all that but just rub a little bit until the logo's off and then measure it keep measuring to make sure you're okay you're not you haven't gone too deep to hit the chip because the chip is placed on the plastic of course and as long as you don't go too deep you can sand down and get it pretty close you can see it's about 0 0.70 uh, so that's really really close to our measurement I think we can take off a few more uh, layers of plastic there to get it a little closer to our, our final destination there of 0.67 so again just another friendly reminder you want to be extremely careful not to rub too hard you want to use a fine grit sandpaper if you can you don't want to dig into it till you actually hit the chip itself that would be disastrous now you can see 0.68 so that's almost exactly on what we need for thickness so we are good to go ladies and gentlemen and here is our final product our micro sim cut down to nano sim specifications it's pretty close it's not exact like 100 percent but it is really close to the final specs for the measurements of the nano sim and i think this should fit in the iphone 5 and hopefully it should work i don't see why it wouldn't the measurements stack up very closely to the nano specifications it even looks like the pictures of the nano sim card that we see in various pictures online so I think this one's going to work. I'm, I'm pretty confident that it might work, although I have to say it's not a guarantee. So beware if you do this with a SIM card that you need. Uh, just use caution. It's not a guarantee that this will work with the iPhone 5 or any other device that needs a nano SIM. So keep that in mind. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.